Welcome down here to Hong Kong Football Club, deep in the heart of Hong Kong City on a Saturday afternoon for the final round of the 2016 Regal Hotels Cup of Nations featuring Hong Kong, Russia, Zimbabwe and Papua New Guinea. But now we're looking forward to Hong Kong versus Russia. The top two seeds after two rounds will square off here today. Winner takes all. We'll take out this tournament. And I want to welcome in my co-commentator, Grant Kemp. Kempy, tell us about the conditions, old son. Oh, Grant, 27 degrees. We have a bit of a wind right to left, but it shouldn't be too much of a factor. Both of these teams are experienced. They've been training hard. They're the two best teams in the cup. Um, players to look out for on the Hong Kong side, definitely coming off the bench, Thomas Lamberley. A uh, fantastic player, plays out of the Valley Club. He'll be someone who will be looking to make an impact. But just in general, hopefully looking a bit smuggy. Hopefully the wind, uh, the rain stays away. But other than that, Grant, I think we can expect a great game against two top teams here. Absolutely. Let's just recap the results. Round one last Friday, Russia beat Zimbabwe 19 points to 15. A narrow win there. Hong Kong thrashed Papua New Guinea 51 to 5. In round two, Hong Kong then went on to beat Zimbabwe 34-11 and Russia getting their form back, defeating Papua New Guinea 49-19. You see on your screen there the skipper Vasily Artemyev with chairman of the board of directors of the union, Peter Schatz, being introduced to the Russian side. The Russians ranked 21 in the world, also known as the Bears, bringing with them a very experienced side, 500 and 30 caps in this squad of 23. 87 of those. 87 of those to blindside flanker Viktor Gresov and 85 to fly off Yuri Kushnarev. So plenty of experience in this Russian side. They have, of course, played in two World Cups. 2011. Sorry, they didn't qualify for 2015 we'll be having the national anthems now first Russia followed by Hong Kong my mistake we'll be first observing a moment of silence for Vladimir Bobrov a legend of Russian rugby six times winning the USSR championship four times he was the top scorer suddenly passed away November 18. Sad to see a real legend of the game passing, and so there'll be a moment of silence.
Well, the anthems have been sung. The Russians in full voice getting fired up with their tune. And as the officials and the flag bearers leave the ground, this crowd gets ready for world number 21, Russia. Take on home team, Hong Kong ranked 25 in the world. A real opportunity here for Hong Kong to tape a tier two scalp. A World Cup contender in 2011. The Russians failed in 2015. The only top 20 side not to make it into the Rugby World Cup as they rebuild. Here's the Russian side. Number 11 is the skipper, Vasily Artemyev, 67 caps. And it's going to be Matthew Ryan Rosley from Hong Kong. This all new, but only six players staying in from Tuesday night's match against Zimbabwe. There's our reserves. You'll see Ben Rimini on the bench for Hong Kong. Had a stellar season in the rugby championship. Perhaps a little surprising to see him on the bench. Such as competition for spots. There's Nick Berry from Australia. The man with the whistle. He gives us a wave. G'day, Nick. And great moment for him. We're just waiting for a loose dog to leave the field. Three-legged dog running around out there. It's taken the edge off this crowd. It's built up throughout the day. And here we go. Rossley gets under it. Chips this one up. Chasing through is Alex McQueen. That's what he does in sevens. He's doing that in fifteens. Quickly, Rosley sets away Yu Kim Shing down the far side. Watch out for this dynamic back row of Hong Kong. There is Toby Fenn straight away. Makes an inch. The gap closed pretty quick. Hood's on hand. There's Rosley. There's Falvey. Skipper Falvey. Third captain in eight days for Hong Kong. Hood's on the scene. Going in hard is Ben Higgins. He's an 18. Early pressure for the Russians here. As Hong Kong try to stress test this defence a little bit. Here goes Lex Kalika from Hong Kong Scottish. Gets pulled down by Pavel Butenko. Good phase play. Patience. Hood has a dart. Russians not contesting at all at that breakdown. This is Finlay Field, the young man. His breakthrough season. Spits now to McQueen. Gets hit front on by the big man, Zikov. Tries to keep him up, trying to turn this into a maul. And if they can keep it like this, they might just get it back. Nope. McQueen does well with the help of Falvey. Russian line speed is very good. Addy Griffiths ranging wide. Kalika puts the knee into the skipper Artemyev. And eventually, after about 15 phases of play, some polite applause for Hong Kong's opening effort here at the football club. I'll tell you what, Grant. They'll be extremely happy with that start. About... As you said, eight or so phases, great start. Seems to be no nerves out there. Ben Higgins carrying, for those of you who are wondering, he's not a reserve. He's just wearing number 18 jersey. Great carries. McQueen did really, really well to keep that ball back, considering he was up against a big tight-head Russian prop. And it looks like Matthew Rossi's going to have a shot of goal here. He was superb last week with the boot. So I'm sure we can expect a lot more of that. I saw him kicking a few before this game warming up. He was kicking them straight and true. There's a little bit of breeze, but it seems to have died down now. He's out very wide, so it's a tough first effort. taking his time and he comes 
How's it looking? It's away to the right, so he's missed with his first effort, but he can be forgiven for that. A tough one to start with. He'll shake it off, Grant. First kick of the day. Matthew Rosley with that right boot from his favourite side. Unfortunately, he pushes it right across the face. Kushnerev with the huge dropout. This man with 85 caps to his name. That's huge. Rosley looks like he's gone too high. It's going to drift over this touchline. No, it's Lot. Meacham gets up there. The honey badger makes it difficult. Flanker. Gresev takes that down well for the Russians. And now it's their turn to give the Hong Kong defence a shake-up. But they've turned it over. Here goes Spitz. Someone needs to straighten. Kalika does. Fenn was there on hand and bursting out of the line. Comes big number eight, Batenko, and snuffs that one out and wins a penalty there. That's well read by the big number eight. Butenko definitely, he's done himself an injury it seems, but that's his penalty. He's shooting out the line, making a spot tackle on Lamming. What's interesting, Grant, is that Hong Kong seemed to be playing the ball just behind that first pod. From the scrum off to the pod and out the back door to the likes of Rosley, who's trying to release McQueen, Meacham and Spitz. That's a very good kick into the 22 metre so Russia now with the first chance. About 20 metres out from the Hong Kong line. They've got some big men in there. Look out for number five, Bogdan Fedokto. He's 200 centimetres tall. Two metres of Russian beef. He's a big man. There he is. Towering over the Hong Kong players. Can they get the timing right? Selsky, this time he goes for Puchenko, the big number eight. Coming on to the ball at pace as the scrum half, Ryabov. Finn has him. Lamming's in there. Now they rumble it forward through these big men, inching their way closer. That's the five metre line there. Ryabov. It's good work from Ben Higgins going over the top there, but he can't win it. They're very close now. I think we're going to see a lot of this today. Butenko got two up his backside, and he's over the line, and it's an early try to rush up. Pavel Butenko through about six phases of grunt work from the heavies, and that looks ominous for Hong Kong, Mr. Grant Kemp. That's not a good sign early on, Grant. Just bullying tactics. The old pick and drive in the 22. And we see one guy picking, going the same side, same side. And eventually it's just out-muscled the Hong Kong defense. Worrying signs early on. The coach will be having a full go right in there. I can see Coach Hammond having a chat about the defense. And it gives Kushnarev a chance to make it a seven-pointer. After six and a half minutes. He took the ball from the line out, did Patenko, soared up high. And then they came around the corner, got close to the posts. And they could only have eyes for one thing, and that was the try line. Here now is... Yuri Kushnarev, this vastly experienced fly half. But he's pumped that a little to the left. So, Russia 5, Hong Kong 0 after 7.5 minutes. I was watching both Kushnarev and Rosli in the warm-up, hitting them from all over ground. It just shows the pressures of the game. He's missed a fairly easy one. Rosli's one a bit more difficult, but not impossible. And both kickers not out of one early on. But not to worry, here's Rosli again. With the restart. Both teams with early touches on the ball. Both teams having some good phase play. That'll settle the nerves for both sides. They can work into their game plans now. Eight minutes on the clock. Ben Roberts, the hooker, tearing off after Rosley's kick. And here comes another wave of Russia. 
Ryabov from the box. Griffiths can't charge it. McQueen's back there waiting. Takes it, no worries. Gives it to Rosley. He has a look up. Takes his time. Pops it right down into the bread basket of fullback Ramil Gason. And look at the big man. There's the try scorer, Butenko. He's going to be a handful today. And that goes bouncing off the chest of Zaykov. He'll be cross about that, but no knock on. The other lock, Elgin, getting involved now. Good ball retention from Russia. Hong Kong getting a good workout on their defensive structures right now. Yukam Shin gets in there and forces the turnover. He'll be talking about that one all night. But advantage is over. Simplikovic decides to pop it through and he's got some gas, but Rosley comes across and cuts it off at the pass. And the big men of Russia are smiling on their way to this line out. Grant, I tell you, Coach Hammond's going to have to, the defensive coach of Hong Kong's going to have to have a chat to the boys around the fringes. Russia just making up way too many meters, is making it really easy for them to get on the front foot here. Defensive line out, Roberts got to hit his man. Up goes Finley Field, this young man is fined. He's done the job for his team. Here's Jamie Hood, good to see him back from Japan. He's got a new contract with the Rico Black Rams, he's been charged! What have I done? I've put the curse on him! Jamie Hood. We couldn't quite see that, but he was under pressure right on his own line. And who is it? I'm not sure yet. And that's pressure. That's all that is, Grant. Absolute pressure. Unfortunately for Jamie Hood, he gets the box kick. Forward's not working on the same side, protecting him. And Gudziev manages to charge it down. And unluckily, normally it goes dead over the dead ball line. This time it sits up in the end goal area. And he's right on top of it for the five-pointer. So two quick tries to Russia showing their class. One through forward pressure and one through defensive pressure. It'll be interesting to see if this impacts the Hong Kong game plan at any point. At what point do they... It's too early, of course, to set any alarm bells off. And here comes Yuri Kushnarev. And this time it looks like he's on target. Straight down the middle to the big number 10. Russia 12. Hong Kong nil after 11 minutes. A good start to this game for Russia. Dan Falvey will have to rally the troops around him now. The captain's got a big job on his hands. 12 points after 10 minutes. He'll need the boys to get back on the game plan. And it should hopefully start here with a great kick from Matthew Rosley. Rosley with the pitching wedge again. McQueen hears off after it. Takes down the try scorer, Gadziev. But they're just waiting, lining up. Other big men licking their lips. Some jiggery pokery on the floor there from Toby Fenn by the looks. So uh, a relieving penalty awarded by the referee and a chance to get downtown a little bit. Toby Fenn, is a, he's been all over the ball for the first 10 minutes. He's, as all back rowers do, walking a fine line, whether he's legal or illegal. But I can guarantee you today he'll be making turnovers and benefiting his team. Kushnarev pumps it down just outside the Hong Kong 22. That's a, it's a useful kick from him. It's the Russians just stride purposely, purposefully, discussing on the way what they're going to do at this line-out. Lots of chat. Eddie Griffiths is chatting for Hong Kong. He's going up. He can't win it, though. Jamie Hood does well to come around the corner there and try and put the kibosh on that one. Rosley goes in with a tackle. And wave after wave, Kushnarev. Artemyev is outside him. Doesn't get it, does the skipper. It's a bit scrappy. And 
Hong Kong with a real couple of fetches out there today in Fen and Lamming. And it looks like... Looks like it's Lamming in there. Yes, it's number six. Can be a real nuisance, Matt Lamming, and that's what he's there to do. The cricket club flanker. Sat out most of the rugby championship, or all of it, this season. He'll be glad to get back out there, putting the jersey on. And Rosley with a decent clearance, so... Well soaked up by Hong Kong, but Russia looking very full of purpose and intent. They know what they're doing. There was a great hit from Kalika uh, in that movement. Sometimes it just takes one guy to get the guys back on track. Kalika's obviously taking that responsibility himself. Selsky. Up to Gresev, who bats it back, and it's a bit untidy, and Griffiths is there all over it, all over him like a cheap suit. The battle that we're going to be looking at here is the tight head prop Alex Ng from Hong Kong up against Polvanov from Russia. Russia's got a, gr a great set piece ground, we've seen it all week. And Hong Kong are going to have to step up here for sure. Ross Lee just checking out the lay of the land across the trenches there to see what the Russians are up to. They've got a very narrow blind. Artemiev looks keen, but he's not very deep. They could work it. Yes, they go blind. Vasily looking for the pass. Gresev gets taken around the collar, but he's fumbled that. The arm is out. And the line speed of the Russian defence here is very good. Kalika back inside to McQueen, who almost looked like he wasn't expecting that one. Great clear out there from Kalika. Rossi now tries to get it white. And that won't please the coaches at all. Just playing crazy rugby under the shadow of their posts. It's too early for that, Kempi. M I must agree with you. In your own 22, 10 points, 12 points down. Settle it down. Win the ball. Hoof it into touch. And we start again. But I, I assume uh, Rosley knew that we had the penalty. Well, Hong Kong had the penalty advantage there. Uh, don't think it's in his nature to be throwing passes in his 22. So he, great clearance. It's got Hong Kong line out, 10 meter line. The South African born Hong Kong representative just recently qualified, three years residence. Roberts hits Finley. Yu Kam Shing comes off his wing and takes a bit of the hard work. The forwards come around the corner. Addy Griffiths just hesitated there when he could have been getting ahead of steam up. Finley Field from Baramur getting involved. And what do we got here? We've got an our assistant referee with some comments offside, Russia. So this will be helpful for Hong Kong. Yu Kam Shing's down there on the far side. We can see him there in the left of the picture. Looks like he's taken a head knock. This could be a concussion test and hopefully he will be back on the pitch. Came back right into the traffic. Did Hong Kong's poster boy of sevens rugby. And Rosley nails it. The crowd appreciating that. This will be right down in front. A big section of the crowd on our camera side. The stands are full on the camera side. And the crowd finding their voice now as Hong Kong still yet to get off the mark. 17 minutes gone. Urging them on as Yu Kam Shing still receiving attention. Matt Lamming's gone across to cover his wing. Looks like Ali McClay might be coming on for you. No, he's been pulled back. Possibly a blood replacement out there, Grant. Yep, looks like blood. Ali McClay, more comebacks than John Travolta. Oh, you have it, Grant. Gone into the world of education, physical education teacher, and after four years away from the Hong Kong side, makes his return. Loving the big head bandage on McClay. The line out hasn't gone so well. They've got to get that right. Cleaned up by Hooker, Selsky. So, 
Lack of timing there. Kushnarev pumps it down. That's a huge kick with a little bit of breeze at his back. McQueen's back there. Puts on a bit of goose. Some good shepherding in midfield from Roberts. Legally done, of course. It's a fine art these days. Hood darts away now. Gives it to Falvey. Here comes Spitz. McClay with an early touch. Tries to get the quick hands working, but just too much pressure on him there. And so it'll be a scrum on the far side, about eight metres inside Hong Kong's territory. Just a little bit too much running across the field there, Grant. You see eventually the run out of space. Ali McClay, as you said, makes his comeback. First touch, three metres to work with, four defenders. Unfortunately, he can't do much with that, and we're going to have a scrum down here to Russia. The big tight head. Ino Kenti Zikov, 124 kilos, the biggest man on the Russian side of the ledger. He's on the far side. Ryabov gets it in. Artemyev comes off as blind and just running hard straight there, but easily read by Spitz and Rosley, who barrel him back. Hallie McClay now with the 1970s head bandage on. Rossley with the cross kick. Oh, that's a good one. Looking for Meacham. He's come back. An awkward oh, bounce. Straight into the hands of Tyler Spitz, the Tigers man. Kalika's on hand. Hood hits it at pace and realises he's about 30 kilos less than the men he's up against. McQueen scoops it out. Ben Roberts up to the halfway. This is better from Hong Kong. Lamming now to his cricket club teammate. Falvey on his home ground. Artemyev takes him in a taekwondo move and throws him to the ground. And then earns his country a penalty there, holding on to the ball there. Good tackle from the skipper. Brought McClay down like a sack of spuds. And that's all it was. When you get taken down that quickly, Grant, they ride on you. Two fetches from Russia. And unfortunately, Toby Fenn couldn't do a job of cleaning them off. But... Uh, we're seeing Hong Kong come back into the game slightly here. There's a little bit more settled. Some clever kicking from the 10, Rosley. And that's an incredible kick from, from the Russian number 10, Kushnarev. He's put it within six meters of the try line. It's a sensational effort. That's, this is going to be a difficult moment for Hong Kong to counter this strong looking line out from the Russians so far it's looking solid Stanislav Selsky in it goes ah just as I said I've put the mockers on him again Gresev went up couldn't control it and that's a let off for Hong Kong he was under pressure though Artemyev now takes it this is Gason goes back into the traffic And Artemyev has knocked it on. You can see Meacham here, 14, this side of the field, looking to get into the game. He's looking for work, he hasn't touched the ball yet. But you can see the intensity in Hong Kong, the effort is there. Just need things to slowly settle for them, and they should come back nicely. first scrum for Hong Kong this is when the pressure comes on because the hooker's got his foot up so I expect a big effort here from the Russian 8 look at the big leg drive going from Russia they realise that they can smell blood, Falvey picks it up Hong Kong able to slow that one down and just piling in off their feet where the Russians can be difficult to keep your feet in those situations, but you can't do that. So again, Rosley will look to pump it downfield, get into a attacking position for this line out. Last line out they messed up on the 22. Now, can they get redemption? Rosley doesn't peel off as much territory this time, but it's still good. They're about 30 
two, 33 metres out from the Russian line. Got to get this line out right. We saw the last one go a little bit awry, but Roberts, known for his accuracy in the line out, he should be right back on it, and he is. Up goes Griffiths, beautifully done. Pops it down to Hood. Big wide one from Rosley. McQueen's in the line. Meacham, first touch of the ball. Ryan Meacham, the honey badger. And he gets unceremoniously flung over the line from Dennis Simplikovic. And good to see Meacham in full flight. Even if it was from a bounce pass. Simplikovic is a huge person for a, for a winger with some great speed. Got massive quads on him. Oh, yes. Well, Meacham's first touch. He's burst onto the scene here in Hong Kong. Sevens and fifteens. His breakthrough season. The man from Tiamudu. Up goes Riabov and Meacham's here. Can he see past that tape? Yes, he can. Gives it to McQueen. Straightens up. There's a looks like an overlap there. McClay gets on the outside of Artemiev, who comes back at him. This is looking better from Hong Kong. Russia now having to soak it up. Going low was number eight, Butenko. And that's slower ball this time. And that's for a reason. That's for a reason. Roberts, sorry, Higgins was holding on to that one, unfortunately. So the momentum is gone. And Kushnerev, no doubt, will try and ping this as far as he can. I think that was aggressive there with the steal over the ball. He just You saw him give the daylight, showed the ref, I've released the player, and he's right on top of the ball. And he's done it again, Grant. He's put it eight metres this time from the Hong Kong try line. What a kick. He's got big kahunas to peel off that amount of territory. It's incredible. So yeah. Hong Kong back under pressure here. Every time we've said that they've got a good set piece or a good line out, the... Either Hong Kong or Russia lose the line out. So for the sake of the Russian people watching, we're not going to say anything. We'll keep stum. <laughs> just feast your eyes on this set piece. Lovers of set piece, just watch this. And there you go again. <laughs> You've done it again, Kempi. Your silence is golden. Your silence is deafening. Rossley now. Oh, he's under all sorts of pressure. Gets on to his left and wobbles it over out to about the 22 now. So another shot for Russia. Line out two in a row now. So both teams struggling to get it right. Conditions aren't particularly challenging for throwers. It's a timing thing. Yeah, definitely a timing thing. The ball's in and the player's not in the air. So they all need to sort that out if they're going to get any sort of first phase ball. And there they've done it. This time it comes back. First time we've seen the big man, Dmitry Gerasimov, number 12. Falvey nails him. Sorry, it was Lamin that nailed him. And look at the intensity at this breakdown. The Russians are flying in at all angles. Fedokto, 200 centimetres of Russian beef takes it forward. And now we're in a similar situation. This is how the first try came. The Russians, if they can be patient... They'll fancy their chances here. This time they go wide. A quick early ball on the inside. It was a good option, but execution not quite tip top. Those are hard to defend, the quick inside ball. The covering defense has to get across on the inside. And luckily for Hong Kong, the See, fumble. The speed, Grant, that they're playing the same side. Pick and drive, pick and drive. Hong Kong players have to fold over. And we saw number 14 on this side, Simplinovic. He was screaming for the ball. However, in the red zone, you want to come away with points. Keep it tight. Keep it safe. And let's see we have someone down here at the moment. Can't really see his face. It's Ben Roberts. Yu Kam Shing is about to re-enter the arena. So, Ali McClay, after a Early burst will be hooked. Good to see Yu Kam Shing rocking the Movember facial furniture with a slug on the lip. 
On the side, Alex Ungwai Shing from the Valley Club. Possibly the heaviest man out there for Hong Kong. Hood goes quickly now. Scampering away. That's a good darting run from the scrum half. Lamming's on hand. He knows one way. Yukam Shing back on the field. He wants more. He's not, he's not done yet. He's probably got a migraine, a splitting headache. Puts Tyler Spitz under all sorts of pressure now. And the penalty comes. And crazy stuff from Hong Kong right under their posts. One has to ask the question, just what exactly they're up to there, Grant. In their 22, there's plenty of time to go. The likes of Lee Jones, the coach, will be tearing his hair out. As this goes on, the points just pile on, making mistakes in your own 22. I know Lee Jones, Mark Fatalofa, the two head coaches of Hong Kong will be steaming, seeing what's going on out there at the moment. They just need to settle. They need to play their rugby in the Russian half and work the attack from there. Not sure it's part of the game plan or not, whether they think there's an opportunity or not. I'm not privy to this information. But it's going to give Kushnerev another shot. A reasonably easy pot from just to the left, about 10 metres to the left. Twenty one of the twenty six players here come from just two clubs, NSC STM and Krasny Yar in Russia. And that's straight down the middle again from Kushnarev. So they're out to fifteen nil. We're closing in on thirty minutes here. The half hour mark is up. And Hong Kong, well they've shown some promise, but they haven't been able to get across the line yet. Gonna need the leadership group Grant to step up now. Fifteen nil down. There's still plenty of time. The boys need to be positive. Play some attacking rugby, and we should see some results from the Hong Kong team. Plenty of time left. 50 minutes. That's a lifetime. As Rosley at this time decides to come out to the right-hand side, and Meacham gets after it. Gets up uncontested. He could have just caught that. I don't think he knew that there were no Russians contesting. Anyway, back to McQueen. Rosley now straightens. Trying to look for the mismatch. Gets manhandled in midfield by this huge man, Bogdan Fedokto. Two metres tall. Swallows up Rosley, but he does well to get to ground. And this is probably kickable. And the decision would be, do they or don't they? Is it in his range, Kempi? I would definitely take the points here. Yeah, 15-0. Get some points on the board. Start building your attack. Um, this, as you said earlier, Grant, plenty of time, plenty of time. Four penalties, it's 15-12, and we're in a real, real match. But Rosley. instead, he's going to go for the corner here. Hopefully, it's a, hopefully I'm incorrect and it pays off. Instead, oh. he hasn't found touch, and they're going now. And you could just see from his face that he wasn't happy. He tried to bend it in with his right eyebrow. And if this goes dead, it'll be a bonus for Hong Kong. And that is incredibly lucky for Russia. That's a let off. They would have a scrum five metres from their own line if that had rolled a couple more times. That is these rubber pitches. They don't get a good kick on. And Rosley would have taken credit for that. <laughs> Here he is again. Just tried to peel off a few too many centimetres on that time. We've seen Kushnerev with a couple of beauties. That's just staying inside. He's flirting with danger. Gresev takes it. Coming on. The ball front foot. Fullback Gason. They've brought it back to the halfway line now. And there's about a thousand Russians out here if they can get it wide. Yes, they do. They've got the eyes for it. Butenko, the try scorer. Tries to get on the outside of Falvey, who gets him around the socks. Look at the work there. There you go, Toby Finn. Toby Finn over that one like a castle. And he gets a bit of ruckus, and the crowd loves it. That's what rugby's all about, a bit of friendly punching.
just as we said earlier, Grant, he's on the he's on the, the ragged edges, Toby Fenn, the seven from Hong Kong. He's on every ball. His coach will want him to get turnovers, and that's exactly what he's doing for his team today. Him and Lamming have been good this time. Rosley, no mistake, goes for safety over distance. Pokes it just into the Russian half. Seven minutes left. Can they get this line out right? A four man. Up goes Field, takes it nicely, delivers it. And Falvey with an incisive run. That's good yards from the skipper. Coming on at pace as McQueen looks up and there's three or four Russians ahead of him and Meacham goes in and just clears out Kushnadev off the ball. This is good defence from Russia. I think it was Field there getting nailed. Lex Kalika will need to start injecting himself into this game, the hard-running centre. There goes the skipper. He's pilfered that like a seagull under all sorts of pressure and eventually coming back to a knock-on by Hong Kong. So frantic stuff. Indeed, very frantic. The rucks are absolutely ferocious at the moment. Gresev's in there along with Selsky. They are smashing into those rucks. But the technique from Hong Kong is great. They're right over the ball. And it's just going to be interesting to see how long they can... What sort of game plan they're playing, Grant, as they pile into those rocks to look for turnovers? Skipper Artemyev is having a good knock so far. Not easy from the wing as a skipper to impose yourself on a game, but he's made a couple of turnovers already. The first Russian player ever to play in the Aviva Premiership in the UK. Played London... He played for Irish universities and Irish under-21s. He had to make a choice between Ireland and Russia. Went to Ireland for school. Ended up playing a lot of footy there and chose to go home. The chance to represent, and he did so in 2011 at the Rugby World Cup. A great rugby story. Speaks with a very Irish accent. Lovely fella to speak to. That's solid from Russia. They're doing... Just enough and a little bit more. Going to milk a penalty here. And I'm not sure if this is in range or not, but it would be an easy three for 50 out. Kushnadev's having a look at the posts. But it looks like he's going to go for the corner. He's potted this a couple of times down that corner. Saw that big scrum from the Russian pack. When you've got two meter tall, 125 kilogram men in the pack, it's always going to be a tough day. But having had a chat to the likes of Ben Higgins and Alex Ng before the game, they were confident, so they should bounce back from that one. Four minutes to go. The buffer is 12, and here come some large men down through the channel. Lamming goes low, just does enough. Ryabov with a very crisp delivery from the base of that. Very quick ruck ball they're getting here. They're recycling at a phenomenal rate. Fens in there. Lamming and Higgins team up. That's popped back, forward then back by the look. So good determined defence from Hong Kong. Just taking these one-off runners as they come, picking them off. Very interesting to see. From being in the rugby scene around Hong Kong, Lex Kalika is considered a monster of a man in the midfield, but he's almost dwarfed by a lot of the Russian backline. Yes, Mr. Simplikovic in front of us, the left winger. 195 centimetres, 110 kilos for a winger. He is a huge man. He could be up in the hooker position with that sort of stats. Another big shove coming in from Russia. It's at the back there. Falvey tells Hood, take it, man. Hood takes it. Goes on one of his 
Trademark jinky runs. Can Yu Kam Shing get away from the flanker? Gadziav. No, he can't, but he's done well there, has you. That's not nice. And the arm is out, so advantage been playing. Kalika goes on a mazy run, puts in the fin. That looked forward to McQueen, and it was. And that was a bit of excitement as the crowd found their voice again. But offside in the midfield were Russia. Awesome line break made by Kalika. Kalika offloads to McQueen. It's just a bit forward, but it's positive signs going forward, Grant. This is what you, you need, ball in hand, running hard at the line, and you'll get results. And that's exactly what Kalika did there. R hopefully Rosli can get some distance on this one. Looks like it's about out on the 22-meter line. He's judged that well, has Matt Rosli. It's, good, it's a good-looking crowd, an attractive crowd down here, especially on the camera side. It is full. And just a few spare seats on the other side. So a few thousand down here for this final round of the Cup of Nations. Up goes Griffiths. Hood under pressure. Throws out another wobbler. McQueen's there. Can he put the fend on? Spitz goes in. Haven't seen much of Spitz on attack yet. He's been all tackles. Here goes Rosley trying to straighten, looking for a runner. Oh, and he gets barreled. But it's quick ball. Kalika now. Tries to squeeze through the gap and get the hands free. Hood looking for runners, but no one's looking keen. The two props, the bookings, Ung and Roberts and midfield, Higgins in midfield. Here goes Meacham with a bit of slider hand. What can he do? Big man over the top, Elgin. Hood now. Is that going to stay in play? Yes, it is. And McQueen does well to narrow the angle. So here we go, everybody. Yeah, here's some positive results. 15 seconds remaining. A golden opportunity for Hong Kong. 10 metres from the Russian line. This but would be a monumental score right now, Grant. The crowd needs to get in behind them. They need to sort out the set piece. They need to go in the sheds with points. Ah, and it's gone. To the big man, Fedotto, the two-meter giant. He's leapt up like a salmon upstream and just helped himself. And another chance gone for Hong Kong. The timing not going, and there is the whistle. So a good half for rugby, especially for Russia, who lead here 15 points to nil at half time. Everything to play for in the second half. Can Hong Kong come back and close this gap? We'll be back in a few minutes. Stay with us.
teams are coming back out for the second half of this big final round three of the Regal Hotels Cup of Nations. Russia it is who have played the better rugby so far. Up 15 to nil. How would you characterise that first half, Grant Kemp? I just think, uh, Grant, that Russia are going to want to keep it tight, use the bullying tactics. They clearly are a bigger side. And Hong Kong just need to get the ball in the hands of McQueen. Uh, Meacham, Ali McClay, when he comes on, you know, play a fast-paced game. I think that, that that will be the message from the coaches in general as Russia look to kick off here. We see McQueen in the midfield. He looks like he's about to get lifted by Lamming. Incredible scenes down here at Football Club as Kushnarev goes deep this time and you diffuses it to Rosley. And this is crazy stuff again. Kalika ducks under one as they try to bring it out under their own post once again. I just spoke to Andrew Hall, the assistant coach. He said, that's okay. They're not upset with the boys trying to run it out from under their own post. But he said they must keep the tempo up. They think the Russians are starting to blow. And Panda Ung goes in there. The man they call Panda puts in a heavy hit. That's a great shot, and it looks like he's been injured. Was that Kalika? Yeah, Kalika. Kalika's put a big one on the number eight, Butenko, and that can really lift the side. Here they come now. Tempo they wanted, tempo they're getting. Spitz with a rare chance of ball in hand. Griffiths on the inside. Yu scoops it back. Good continuity from Lamming. Is that off the knee of Tyler Spitz? Looks like it. The arm stays down. Hong Kong come out fizzing in the second half as Polivalov takes it forward. They've soaked it up. Now Kushnarev decides, let's get out of here. And it is Hong Kong who have to play to win this game. They can't sit back. Rosley gets one of those kind bounces, especially for a defending fullback. Good work on the far side in the shadows by Ryan Meacham. Again, they've got the confidence just to throw it around under their own post. Hood unleashes downfield. And this is a Russian side playing the percentages right now. Three kicks in a row now. Up it goes from fullback Gason. Nicely handled by Rosley on this occasion. A big groan goes up from the crowd, fearing the worst, but he's done well. It's very, very slow ball, though. The Russians are realigned. They're all over. They're spread right across the field. Finley Field, first receiver that time. They're going side to side at the moment. They've either got to clear this ball or someone's got to take responsibility. But eventually, just coming from the side, the Russians, and a long passage of play ends up with a penalty to Hong Kong. Well, they definitely have taken the coach's advice about tempo. That was back and forth, back and forth. Spitz, Kalika doing great work. Kalika putting in the shot on Butenko. He was down for a good three to four minutes. But like we discussed earlier, it just takes someone to spark the magic. And it looked like Hong Kong have come out, at least for the first five minutes, as the stronger team. They need to score quick, get some runs on the board. they got to score three times at least. Can't see Russia shutting up shop just yet. So they've got to come out and play some rugby and score three or four tries. Eddie Griffiths goes up. Nicely done. Rossley takes it front. Oh, oh no! He's Meacham was going for the inside ball. Rosley is throwing it straight to the Russian. And now they come swarming through. McQueen tries to put a damp rag on it. Desperate here for Hong Kong. They can't turn it over as much as they tried. Here it is. Griffiths poised to launch himself as he does. Lamming's next up with Higgins. And McQueen, and have they forced a fumble? Yes, the arm is out. So good workmanlike response there after the mistake from Rossley. Put them on the back foot. That was the hooker, Salski, with the intercept. He's run 50 metres, then, then fumbled the ball up. One would say he should have pinned the ears back and gone under the poles. What do you think, Grant? 
Some magic fly spray being applied to the injuries there. But yes, I'm sure you love seeing a front rower in full flight, Kempe. There's nothing gets you more excited than that, is there? Yeah, that went from the halfway line to about the 22. <laughs> but definitely tonight, that'll be the 22 to the 22 <laughs> with no support. And it looks yeah. like 16 and 17 are coming on for Russia. Two very large front rankers. Valery Sonobolads and Valery Morozov. Front row reserves. And is that the hooker that got injured after his run? It looked like it was on, though. The move from Rosley, the short ball, Mitchum was through the gap. He was clean through. But incredibly well read by Stanislav Salski, the hooker. Showed deft hands, as you'd expect from a hooker. Plucked it out. Seems like we have Matt Lamming also down. That could just be contact lenses, but... No, in fact, it's, he's been cut. It's blood. Thomas Lumbly might be the next cab off the rank if Lamming had to leave the field. He's the back row cover. Bit of claret on the head of Matthew Lamming. There doesn't seem to be anyone taking off the replacement bib, so I'm assuming Lamming might stay on. He's going to have to go to Bloodbin, surely. Um, surely. It's flowing like a nice bottle of claret. Look at the sweat there on the panda's brow. One of the strongest men in Hong Kong rugby. Alex Kalika. Made a big difference with a big hit there. Like to see him coming on some straighter runs for mine. The big Fijian born representative. One of the most feared runners of the ball in Hong Kong. And in fact, we see Lambele coming onto the pitch now. It seems that Lamming's not, he's going to have to go there. Yes, there comes Lambele. Here comes Toma Lambele. He uh, made his debut on Tuesday night against Zimbabwe. Some call him Thomas, some call him Thomas, the Frenchman. It's the brother of the famous Toulouse back rower. Over 100 caps for Toulouse. So he goes to the back. And Falvey goes to the side. And Lambele gets an awkward one squirting out to deal with. No time to warm up the fingers on that one. And he's getting overrun here. Griffiths tries to stop it, but... They eventually win themselves a penalty quite fortuitously, really. It was a mess. So not an easy one to come on straight away and deal with. But he's got his first touch. Rossley puts it on the roof and scares the hell out of Grant Kemp as it... Hits the corrugated iron above us. And he's got us down to about the 10 metre mark. And as the game wears on, Hong Kong will be mindful that they need to get on the board. And something to get excited about. Here goes Rossley. Here comes Kalika on a straight run. He goes high. Gets past the first. Up to the 10 metre now. Higgins comes around the corner like a train. Just a little bit too slow that time. Not as clean as they would have liked. Ung Waishung Wai -shing takes it to ground. Bounce pass to Toby Finn. Gets accosted by Gadziab. Gets out of it. Another bounce pass. Felvey has to go back and get on his knees. And it's a bit untidy there. A little bit of patience perhaps required. 35 minutes remaining. See how Ben Higgins does up against the new man, Mozarov. Ben Higgins, highly rated in Hong Kong. Incredible work rate. One of the fittest forwards in the pack considering he's a prop. And 
but incredibly highly rated, look, looking to stamp his authority on international rugby the same way he does on the club rugby. Can he hold these Russians, though? They go backwards. This time, Lamberley picks it up and puts a nice fend on. But he's got a couple of Russians over him there. And you see Tagir Gadziev, the number seven, just like a sentinel from the Matrix, getting busy on that ball. But his comrade had gone to ground, so it's another penalty for Hong Kong. As Rosley kicks this ball, looks down the sideline like Lamming's ready to come back on. Jack Parfit also warming up. This massive front rower from the Scottish club makes his entrance. And yes, look at the look on the face there of Alex Ung. A bit of a grimace as he's hooked. Lamberley comes off for Lamming again. Lamming's got the head bandage on now. And right down in front of us, Griffiths goes up. He bats it straight into the hands of Hood. Now they come on the ball at pace. McQueen off the bootlaces. Meacham in full flight. Gets around the big man. McQueen gets it back. Russians scrambling across. They're all back in the line. Almost another intercept there. Arm is out. The Russians look like they might have pilfered this. And yes, they have. The arm is down. So... That's disappointing for Hong Kong as Evgeny Elgin rumbles it forward. And yet again, we see the kick from Kushnarev. He's put a massive bomb down and <laughs> Meacham juggles it, just nudges it backwards to McQueen. That was a lucky stroke of luck. They're lining up out here now, but Rosley puts in the kick pass, but no one was reading that. That's a miscommunication between Rosley and the outside backs. The fullback now, this is Ramil Gayson. Puts on a tidy bit of footwork. He's up to the halfway. Kushnerev knocks it back, says the referee. It's a let off. Kick starting the motorbike. There goes Victor Gresev, the number six. <laughs> Did you see that? He didn't launch him into that one. He absolutely threw him into it. <laughs> Incredible. Russia showing a bit of patience, and that's Finn getting in there. Can he get the steal? He's all over it. Looks like he's knocked it on, though. And Russia here just shoveling it along rather irresponsibly. Saw Jack Parford making his presence known with a big hit in the midfield. It's just interesting the way that the Russians are attacking. It looks a little bit flat. They're going the same way. I'm not sure if they would be used to this greasy ball in the Hong Kong weather. The later it gets and the more the game goes on, the ball becomes very, very, very sweaty. Lee Jones has made a big move. He's pulled off Matt Rosley there. who The nail in the coffin might have been that cross kick, which is, wasn't that well thought out, perhaps. Benjamin Rimini is on, his Valley teammate. And he's had a cracking season in the 10 shirt for Hong Kong during the Asian Rugby Championship. He's in a rich vein of thorn form. Also a sevens representative, so he'll be fit and, and, and primed, ready to go. Saved Hong Kong's bacon on a number of occasions at this ground in test matches. Can he make a difference here? First thing he has to do is take a look at Kushnarev's massive kick. And no, he's just, done. he's got it on a string today, Kempi. Kushnarev is having a great game at that boot. Not missing touch. I mean, this one's landed 30, 30 centimetres in from the touchline. Couldn't have been more perfect. And Hong Kong have to line out 10 metres out. That's pressure, Grant. Just building pressure. Keep them down there. And you see already, they want to put pressure on at the line out. And Rimini will have to clear here. Griffiths takes it with one hand. No way Rimini was going to put his toe to that one. Falvey settles it. Hood fires it back to Rimini on his preferred left boot. And he gets Hong Kong out of town. Oh, that's a great kick. He's done brilliantly. The crowd enjoying that one. Almost up to halfway from his own dead ball area. 
with very little angle. And could this be the spark that Hong Kong needs as we pass the 50 minute mark? Bit of confusion amongst the Russians as two more substitutes come on. Number 21, Konstantin Uzunov. 23, Russian Yogodun come out. And I thought they were forwards, but they're backs. They're massive. Conditioning coach definitely worth his money in this Russian team. The new hooker as well, Valery Tsunobladze. The 16, he's got shoulders on him like an aircraft. Russia now reverting to some good old fashioned yakut down the middle. Three phases, four phases. It's good tackle from Finlay Field there. The young man with the red head gear putting in a good shift. Here goes the hooker. Six phases, seven phases. Someone's given the call here. Let's tighten it up. And Hong Kong getting stressed here. Then they decide to go wide. And all that hard work almost undone there by a kick that has been made to look good by a good chase, actually. McQueen struggles to get up to his 22. Players still getting behind the ball. And Rimini now a chance to pump it down the other sideline. And he's done well. Does incredibly well. I'm not sure what Artemyev is remonstrating about, but Rimini was in the 22. Rimini two, on the field, two touches. They've been great. Cleared twice, put his team on the front foot, and that's exactly what you want, especially when you're a heavy forward, you're a heavy pack. You want to be moving forward. As R Lamming comes outside Rimini, it looks like they're gonna, it's, they've gone for a short line out here, the five-man line out. Up goes Fedotko. Kushnerev again with his seventh or eighth kick in this half alone. The game plan looks like it's changed for Russia somewhat. Good work from Yu Kam Shing there. Here comes McQueen. Not getting much change here. Victor Gresov takes him to ground. The arm goes out. It's a good run from McQueen. Not letting go was Gresov. Made a great tackle but didn't show any daylight on that occasion. Went straight in, diving in for the tackle. Number and 20, Shegodev, gets marched to extra 10 metres. Sometimes when you come off the bench, Grant, you're just a little bit overexcited, want to make a bigger impact, and you end up making a negative impact. That's right. Remini, under instructions from his skipper, plugs it down towards the corner. Yet again, an attacking line-out. They've got to get these right now. Hong Kong have not looked like scoring a try yet. Here's a golden opportunity. Up goes Griffiths. Nicely down, Rimini goes wide, Kalika gets smashed in a big tackle. Very well read, incredible line speed. You want to let that man get ahead of steam up, he'll punish you all day. Here they go again, Roberts is going to help Higgins out as they do some hard work to the 22. Rimini looks like he's on fire, he's fizzing out there. Falvey gets it stripped out backwards and... Not sure how that can be a knock-on. It was stripped out back towards the Hong Kong goalposts, but there you go. The referee was on spot. So another attacking opportunity has been dealt with there by Russia as number 18 comes on Azamat Bitiev. Big hit on Kalika there. He's put in his fair share of hits. And I guess this one, he, you know, you give them out, you take them back. But he's right back up on his feet, ready to attack. Dan Felby's coming off, so not sure who will be skipping now. Toma Lambley, Toma Lambley has gone on to number eight. Perhaps it's Hood who will be skipper. Jamie Hood with the Rico Black Rams just taken up a contract in Japan this season. But this uh, would be his home ground otherwise at football club. That's a bit ugly, but it comes back. 
McQueen is under that one, diffuses it, no problem. And the chase is very poor from Russia. One chaser. Yu Kam Shing goes into some artillery. Looks like he might have lost this. That's what happens when a winger gets involved with some tight forwards. They'll rob you. And indeed it was. A couple of big forwards that just licked their lips as Yu Kam Shing came tearing towards them. Here come Russia now. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Massive hit, and it looks like they've... Lex Kalika, oh, they, he's wobbly. That is the biggest wobbly. hit you'll see this season. That was insane. Did you see that? I'm not sure who was running fastest. It's a huge hit. They've, I think it looks like they've both... They've knocked each other out here. Incredible hit. Right on the, right on the, on the quads. He looked wobbly. Is he yeah. okay, Kalika? First look at him. He didn't look sharp. That was insane. <laughs> that was a game changer. Is Could it have our second concussion test and then our third. Yeah, it looks like he's going for a quick test. It looks like he's done a stinger on that arm too, the way he's moving his arm back and forth. Looks like he's moving okay though mm -hmm. after that initial wobbliness. I don't think I've seen anyone go into a tackle at that speed. So Kalika comes off, presumably for a concussion test. There he is. Looks okay. Ali McClay. I, th takes yeah, I think his place. They've, 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 they've given him a break too. I think he's off the pitch. Ali McClay's on for good. Unfortunately, we don't have any replays. So if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> Roll that one back and have another look. Hit of the month globally. For sure. Possibly hit of the decade. <laughs> and He's unbelievably, Dimitri <laughs> Gerasimov is on his feet as well. To take that, that could have been the end of him. <laughs> that was a bell ringer. So the end result is a Hong Kong line out, 12 metres inside their own half. They're running out of time here. 22 minutes to go. Russia have got an answer for everything so far. Rimini takes a look. Notices that fullback Gason is off his line. He has time to get back. Shing's on him. Yukam Shing's got to take him down, which he does so. And Russian still coming down. Back behind the ball there. But if Rimini was looking for territory there, he's got it so far. What will be the net result? It's going to be a kick eventually, but it's taken back. So he's got to keep this in play. Hood just takes it down his, in his bread basket. He's got McQueen with him. On the far side, there's acres of space. And who's steaming down there? Meacham was a little bit too deep to be a contender for that one, but... That's a good net gain at the end of that session. First Rimini, then Hood. Now they have a chance to disrupt this Russian line out in their 22. Ah, oh, Gason there. The fullback just getting turned by the great kick from Rimini. Gason who's had a great game. He won't be happy with that little error in his positioning. Well read by Rimini. He's an eyes-up football player. That's gone to the back, but it, perhaps not straight. So here we go. A Hong Kong scrum with a decent-looking blind on it for Meacham. One feels they have to score here as we close in on the three-quarter mark. Still trailing by 15, Hong Kong. Looks like the replacement's coming on here, Jamie Tang. He'll go into hooker. Ben Roberts will come off. The man from Kowloon, Jamie Jung. And his first assignment will be a line-out just inside Russia's 22. They've opted for the line-out, not the scrum here. And that's going to work against them. 
It's a tough ask to come on in a pressure situation and get it right. Kushnarev now with a searching kick downfield. McQueen as safe as a house back there. Looks up and looks for a mismatch. If you're looking for a mismatch in size, it'll be hard. Got to say, this defensive pressure from Russia has really put a lot of sting on Hong Kong. Here's another example right behind the game line, about five, six metres behind the game line. Here's McClay. He's on for Kalika. Came on earlier for a bloodbin. Here goes Jamie Chung. Fresh legs. Gets put in a headlock and almost wrestled to the ground. Lambele loves to range wide. And that could also almost... No. Flag stays down. Referee looks at his assistant. Says, come on, there must have been something. And he says, my microphone's not working. So he's getting a bit of attention There's been some cracking hits out there today. Saw Lambele just trying to put up Ali McClay down the small little short side. Uh, Lambele, is, he has that uh, the flair in him, having been born in France, but since becoming a resident in Hong Kong. Loves to get wide, doesn't he? He's like, yeah. A bit like Kieran Reid, likes to get on the outside. He's got incredible pace. And despite his looks, he's very young. He's in his, he's in the bottom half of the 20s. Played for, is it Toulon 2s? Yes. So he's got some rugby pedigree about him. And if you look at players like Nicholas Hewson, who have been great servants to the game in Hong Kong, 7s and 15s, perhaps there's a new generation brewing here as they look towards Rugby World Cup qualification in 2019 that is the goal here for both these sides Russia the only top 20 side not to qualify for 2015 they're on the rebuild they sit at 21, Hong Kong sit at 25 and there's, there's a big gap between 20 and 25 every step up the ladder from there is incremental. Got the scrum right in front of our eyes, uh, right in front of the commentary box. You can see Parfit's not happy with something. Talk us through this one, Kim Pete. So pa there's something happening on the far side there between Parfit and Mazarov. Um, Higgins and number 18 look happy on this side, Bitiev. But th the referee's not going to allow them to put it in until it's steady. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's just not going to come in until all the feet are back. You see Higgins here, he's trying to go on an angle. That's, a, that's much better. And here comes the shove on. Here they go. Artemiev off his blind. Rimini comes in and it jolts out of his arms. Good tackle from Rimini on the Russian skipper. That was a solid platform to work from, so they had options. Number 19, Suzlov's just come on. And the two meter tall for Doko's coming off here. He's had a good game, the big man. No, oh, he's been impressive in the lineout, especially. And with 17 minutes left, 15 0. Hong Kong chucking the kitchen sink at Russia, but they're not buckling. They've diffused everything Hong Kong's had to throw at them. And it doesn't help when your scrum's under that sort of pressure. Artemyev goes into Hood. Jack Parfit, 120 something kilos of him. Rimini now spots, spots the fullback, gives it to him, and 
That's a flat ball. This is the first time Russia have opted not to kick it from a deep kick. In goes McClay. He's all elbows and knees, the big Scotsman. And just getting the ball away under contact here. Two offloads there, putting Hong Kong on the back foot as they get in each other's way. Artemyev lurches into that one. Full flight. It's a beautiful thing. Now Russia changing their approach, probing, looking for something. They keep finding, they're finding little half breaks here in this passage. Three or four little half breaks and offloads. They've decided to switch gears a little bit, but eventually, who was it there? Pesting on the ground. Here goes Lambele. He's got Griffiths with him. Oh, there you go. He gives the bubble pass. You, you now oh. with one to beat. He gets around the fullback. The covering tackle is good. There's no overlap out this way. Meacham now bangs off the right twice. Comes inside. Gets held up by number 19. Suslov. Here goes Hood. Puts on the footwork. They've got to get something here. This crowd are urging them on. Rimini goes in at scrum half. Parfit now. Unlocking this Russian defence will not be easy. They've had a clean break there. Rimini decides to take on the line. And good things happen when he does things like that. Finn now. He's got the attentions all over him. Is that an arm out? Maybe not. Meacham now, he takes a cricket catch, but he can't keep it. And the Russians are offside, right out in front of the posts. Hong Kong throwing the kitchen sink, the knives and forks, the cutlery, the crockery. They should take the points here. And should Go they on. chuck that at them? Take the points here, and then you've got... Because they need to score three times no matter what. They're not listening to you. Oh. Here goes Jack Parfit. He goes in rather upright. Russia seem to be handling this not effortlessly, but they're very well organized. Their defensive structures, they're trusting each other. They're relying on their systems. No one's panicking. You got forwards in the backs and backs in the forwards. Hong Kong with five in there against Russia's one. Lamming. Roberts. Higgins comes around the corner. McQueen now looking for you. Gives him the dummy. You gets taken out. He remonstrates, but there's no point. Lamming again. One of the dodgiest show and goes you'll ever see there from Ryan Meacham. Lifts one shoulder, and no one's falling for it. But 100% effort going in here from Hong Kong. That organization from Russia, that's probably a, a, a product of most of the players playing at the same club. So they're all used to the same system, doing the same thing. Uh, as Grant said, mo was, it, was it 20 of the 23 in the squad from two of the same clubs? So there's a lot of organization. They know each other. They're familiar. And they look very settled out there. This is the chance for Hong Kong now. This is a vital, vital moment in the game. Jason J.M. is coming on. This live wire under 20. Looks like he's going to replace Jamie Hood at a crucial moment. He's a pocket rocket, this young man. Burst on to the Asian 7 scene in Sri Lanka a couple of months ago and won the game in the final against Korea. But they lose experience, but they gain everything else. And that's a rather... Disappointing result there from that line out. And they get out of jail once more. You now inside to Lambele. Will he straighten? No, he feeds McQueen. Bursting out of the line. Comes Dimitri Gerasimov. There's Jayan with his first touch of the ball. Rimini gets put in a sleeper hold, but he's okay, everybody. Meacham fires a bullet to McQueen, and they're way behind the gain line.
Good burst there from Tyler Spitz. I think only the second time we've seen him with ball in hand. There's no one at home. Yu Kam Shing is going back. Kushnarev gets on him and sorts him out. JM tries to get involved and Avdamiev comes away with it. If they score here, you've got to say it's all over. Hong Kong's turn now to suck it up. Here comes Bitiev. They go wide. Hands will do it. They're over in the corner. Are is they in? a try saver from Toby Finn, is it? The arm's up. Oh, it's arms a spectacular up. effort in the far corner. They've come 100 metres downfield and probably put this game out of reach. And what a finish. Backs and forwards all in chorus. And that is class act, Russia. Just too much pressure from Russia, Grant. Just normal hands down the back line. As you said, hands will do it. In the corner he goes. Toby Finn with the last, last effort. Unfortunately, it's not enough to keep the Russian side off the try line. It's that huge man on the wing over there. Denis Simplikovich. He is huge. He's 195 centimetres. What's he doing on the wing? Finn put in a great effort, but... So Kushnarev, who's been good with the boot, bar that first kick of the day. The concerning thing now, Grant, is the big donut sitting on the Hong Kong side of the ledger, unable to trouble the Russians too much at all. Precisely, Grant. Sometimes I think we might have, the Hong Kong side might have just, um, you know, tried a bit too much too early. It was 10 points down, 12 points down. You're still in the game. Kick those penalties. Take it back to old school South African style rugby. And we might have seen a bit more of a result. But at the end of the day, there's nine minutes to go. They're 20 points behind. It's a good time to throw it around, try some new things. And who knows, we might come away with two tries. The result last year in the final of the Cup of Nations, Russia 31, Hong Kong 12, a 19-point margin. Currently sits at 20 here. And Hong Kong will be looking for positives now in these last nine minutes. Keep playing positive. There's been no lack of positivity. You can't say they've played unconstructive rugby. They've just come up against the Russian side. That's very well, Jude. Jason Jayam now. There Look at him goes. off the feet, this young man. What a burst. Superb run from JM. That was his first touch in space and he's done an absolute great job. Proud moment for him and his fans out of the Tigers club. He's come from the under 20s sevens outfit 15's outfit to be here in this series quite rightly he's a real prospect for the future he's absolutely fizzing like a jack-in-a-box Russia put on a dainty shove and that's this massive winger Denis Simplikovic he's a beast Knee down, Jamie Jung takes one for the team there. And Kushnarev, that's what he's done the second half. He's just been keeping them going forward, kept the ball in front of them as much as possible. McQueen now tries to hook up with you. He's done well. JM to Rimini. Lamming's out there. Tyler Spitz is looking for a short ball. Lamming knows one way, and that's to tuck his head down and just... Pin his ears back. Rimini. McClay. Spins, turns, goes. Good bridging from Lambele. You fix it up to McQueen. Lamming's oh, there. This is better. good continuity from Hong Kong. And then just as I say that, it turns into a bit of a messy dinner of a cup of hot fat with a hair on it. That was some great play there from number 23, Alistair McClay. Just keeping the ball alive, not trying to take on the brute force of the Russians. Playing behind them, play at the shoulders. 
Spinning through the tackle, Alistair McClay has done incredibly well there. One player who will be almost ready to fall over will be Ben Higgins. 75 minutes, loose head prop. Incredible levels of fitness he's showing off today. Still a front row reserve on the bench, Rowan Cook. Not used yet. Not sure we'll see him. Or oh, Higgins just guts it out for 80. Another kick from Russia. Just making it. They're saying to Hong Kong, you're behind. You've got to come back at us. McQueen's tried all day, and he's made some good returns. There's another one. And look at the arriving players. Four of them there to clear out one Russian. There's one Russian in there, and five Hong Kong players on the floor now. Here goes Spitz. Big trouble, no one home. There's no one there. It's going to pop into his hands. Yes, it is. Kushnarev. The man with the oh, boot. He's, knocked it, he's on. knocked it on. And great work from the referee. Alistair McClay again. How did he get there? It looked like he was in for all money. No complaints from him. Done a great job to keep him out there. That looked like a run away. Kushner has been good today. Brilliant with the boot. Almost deserved a try if you if you had to play it on a fairness game. Seems to be pulling up with some cramp. Stuck down now in that far corner. It's like a black hole. It's hard to get out of. A huge gravity down there. Gravitational forces are strong. And that'll make it easier. A rear penalty from the scrum. Jason Jayam now decides he'll try this on his own. And he's almost done it. And sometimes, isn't it great just seeing the unbridled passion of the young man not sticking to the script. Here comes Spitz. Looking for you. Round the neck goes Victor Gresov. And the ref has his arm out. It wasn't that dangerous, but it was high. And once again, it's just untidy. All momentum is lost. Come back in for the penalty now. Oh, it's a yellow. Yellow. Wow. Look, I really didn't think it was worth a yellow, Kempi. Neither do I. I, I I'm assuming the referee has decided that had that not happened, there would have been a, probably another 20 or 30 meter run from Spitz. But I, I, I agree with you, Grant. I'm not too sure about a yellow card on that one. Came across the back of his shoulders and over his head, I think. There's nothing in yeah, there. So I have to agree with you. He won't be playing any further part, Viktor Kiresov, and it doesn't really matter. He's on the naughty chair. He's had a good game. The back row for Russia has been good today. This crowd are willing Hong Kong on. They want a score before they go home. Oh, Beautifully great. done great. in the air from Finlay Field. Like a salmon. There's no numbers here. It's a two on four. Puts it through for Lambele. He just escapes around the ankles. Russia just working it out. A workmanlike effort. The replacement scrum half was enough. Puts it down to you, and here they come again. It's been wave after wave of Hong Kong. They just can't get through. Meacham this time steps off the right. Gets taken in a good spot tackle. Can he secure it? Yes, he can. JM's there. Oh, unlucky for Cook. Cook who is on the field now, he got a tough one there. It was a hammy buster. A minute and a half remaining. And would you say that the score reflects this match, Kempi? I'd have to, I have to say that, you know, Russia have been a lot more measured in their approach to the game. They're playing more of a test-style rugby, pick and drive. It's unfortunate that Hong Kong have naught on the board because I feel that 
They've been playing good rugby, putting in great effort. So in that respect, no, it doesn't reflect it. But Hong Kong are, will learn from this. They'll learn how to play slower, more test-like rugby. And in their ambitions to qualify for World Cups, they'll learn that you need to play slower, you need to play with the boot, and that's how you win test match rugby. But Russia have been good, especially Kuznarev, I must say. Indeed. So into the last minute now, Russia... The story of the second half has been kicked deep. Let them come back at us. And come back they have. Oh, it's a bad bounce for Meacham. And that's a disaster as Denis Simplikovic goes in for what will be the last score of the game. A disaster. And that's the kind of bounce you can get on these artificial pitches. And that is a sick blow for Hong Kong right on full time. Incredible bounce. It's bounced eight, nine metres to the left of Meacham and he's had no chance. You saw him, he stood still, could do nothing about it. Kuznarev will add the extra two to make it 27-0 Russia. Sensational. Just again, I put the mockers on them. Hong Kong had been returning every deep kick in good fashion. The back three had been going good guns. You... Meacham and McQueen had been bringing it back with aggression and just as I say that they get a wobbly old bounce and the, that huge winger no one was going to stop him at that pace it's like a train Kushnerev an easy kick for him 27 points to nil and there goes the final whistle. A comprehensive victory to Russia. Showing their class here today in Hong Kong. 27 points to nil against Hong Kong, who threw absolutely everything at them. No shortage of effort. What positives, Kempi, can Hong Kong take out of this match? Oh, there will be a lot of positives. You know, the Russian side is five, five places ahead of them. They've, they can attack. Hong Kong attack with ball in hand. You said it. McQueen, the likes of uh, the both wingers, Meacham, he was unlucky at the end, but he was really, really good most of the day. They can bring the ball back. They can attack. They'll learn how to defend almost from the Russians, learn how to slow it down. But the biggest positive is that the likes of Lambele, they can bring the ball back. They can attack. Yes, incredible scenes. You said you weren't happy with the 20 to nil scoreline. I guess 27 to nil. It's an unfortunate extra bonus for Russia. But four tries, four tries to nil, and you've got to give it to the Russian structure. They never panicked, as you said. 13 of them coming from one club, knowing each other very well. There they are, saluting the supporters. They will have loved their 10 days in Hong Kong. They've had a good time, and congratulations to them. Tremendous effort. Hong Kong, the long road to qualification, maybe just started right here. And there is the final standings of the Cup of Nations. Russia, three from three, 14 points. Hong Kong stuck on 10. Zimbabwe with the earlier win today against Papua New Guinea, take out third spot. And all in all, an excellent series. And just talking earlier, why did they invite Papua New Guinea to the series? Well, it goes like this. If you try to qualify for the Rugby World Cup, the winner of the Asia Rugby Championship, which is usually always Japan, qualifies straight away. Second place goes into the rapid charge system. That'll be between Hong Kong and Korea. So whoever comes second in 2018 will go on to play the winners of the Oceania group, which this year, or last year, was Papua New Guinea. So there is a logic in getting Papua New Guinea here to take a look at them, see what they're like. Uh, last year at this Cup of Nations, we had Portugal. They've seen European rugby in action. They played Belgium two years before that. So a very smart move from the Hong Kong Rugby Union. And... With Korea playing Chile tonight in South America, I'm sure Hong Kong will be keeping an eye on that one. 
who will be second dog behind Japan. The crowd today, they've had a good time. Been a great crowd. There's a good party atmosphere down there. There's Kushner if he's had a great game. And that'll be it. Test rugby for Hong Kong is over now until the next rugby championship. Probably in about May next year. May, June. As we get ready for a presentation of the Cup of Nations to the victors. There's a happy set of campers, Kimby. They'll be on the flight. They'll be very happy with their week's work. Yeah, of course. You know, winning's always it's always it's always the best feeling. Russia, well deserved winners, played incredibly well during the last three games. Undefeated, they'll be very, very happy with their week in Hong Kong. Later next year, they'll be playing in the second tier of the European Championships against the likes of Germany and Georgia. Back in familiar weather and environment, there is the Cup. The Cup of the Nations. We see Sean Brown out there. Happy birthday to the young man. There is Sean, the birthday boy. Happy birthday, young man. He loves to support Hong Kong or Valley or Football Club or Russia. He's a great supporter of rugby. And Peter Schatz now will... The chairman of the board of directors. There he is, Schatzy. And it'll be Vasily Artemyev to receive the Cup of Nations. There you go. Russia, the winner of the Regal Hotels Cup of Nations 2016. Very well deserved. They've come a long way. They love being here. Hong Kong loves having them here. Congratulations to them and a safe trip home to all the teams that participate in this Cup of Nations. We'll leave you with these pictures. Thank you for joining us. Good night.